I just wanted to give you guys a look into my crazy world here. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. This is my workstation, okay? I know, it is a hot mess, but I want to show you guys where all of this started. So, I started here in the garage in this little workstation here. You can see some of my first straps that I made here, um, but this little station, it just got too small for me. So um, it also was because there was a wasp right there in the garage and like there's just so much mess in here. It's starting to add up. So I have now moved to our dining room table and this is no way to run a small business, but um, you know, I did not expect to blow up on TikTok and I figured that maybe I should also start vlogging this um, on YouTube. So I just kind of wanted, oops, how do I do this? Up, up. No? All right. Um, I just wanted to kind of take you guys with me and vlog while I pack some orders. So I have all of these beaded straps that need to go into a bag. I also need to pack all of these. It is, it's, it's crazy. This is what I've been using to kind of... Um, to what do you call this keep track of all of my orders so i just use google sheets i write everything down um i put if i've made it and if i've packed it so i need to check that off and i figured um why not just vlog this and talk to you guys so normally i go live on tiktok however because I have nothing to sell since I got completely bought out, <laughs> I figured I would use this as an opportunity to, instead of going live, to just make a quick vlog. Or maybe this might even be a long one. I don't know. I started with these straps. So just the plain black straps. And then I would basically change out the hardware to whatever the customer wants. And then because of EDC, I decided to make these beaded straps. So if you guys don't know what EDC is, it is a massive rave. I used to be a huge raver and part of rave culture are these beaded um, candies. Usually they wear it on, you know, like you're, you usually wear it as a bracelet, but I thought it'd be super cool to create a long beaded strap. I did not realize that these are going to sell so well. And I also didn't realize how tedious it is to make these and how much I really don't actually enjoy making the beaded straps. So um, I am phasing these out this month because there's no longer EDC. And honestly, it just takes way too long for what it's worth. Um, because there's no physical way, at least that I know of, so if anybody out there knows a faster way to bead, um, it just takes up way too long. So like if I have like, you know, 10 orders like I do today, I have been averaging making these in about 35 minutes, so that's gonna take me about four hours just to do the 10 so it's a full-time job and okay i need to i need to pack while i while i talk to you guys anyway i saw this girl named uh ali she goes by stardust by ali and she was doing like a vlog while she was packing and i kind of just wanted to do the same thing like just for my own memory you know because everything's been happening so fast that i don't even i i haven't even been able to record or track anything you know so what am i missing here i'm missing oh 
Like I really, I really did just start this as a solution for myself and I shared it on TikTok, not thinking anything of it. I was like, okay, well, I honestly was under the assumption that, oh, I'll probably just sell like one or two a day of these, no big deal. I stocked up for about 20 straps. And to me, I was thinking like, oh, if I just sell these 20 straps, it's a success, you know? And it turns out that um, it blew up and now I was making like 20 a day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, there we go. And it's just crazy to think that like I was so, I was gonna be just so happy even just to sell 10. And now I'm selling like 10 a day, which is nuts. And so I just kind of wanted to go through the process of how this all happened. So um, I started making these back in November and it was really just like a idea that popped up in my head out of nowhere. And I was like, I need to get this idea out. How can I make this? I had no idea like where I was going to get the materials to make a phone strap, but I had like, an old phone strap from a crossbody um, cell phone case that I didn't really like, honestly. And I was like, man, if I could just make this myself, that would be so cool. So um, I basically did my research, tried to find like a place that had the supplies that I was looking for and it was all at a leather shop. And um, I started with with leather so I basically got like the parts put it together and I was like oh, okay this is holding up pretty well then I was like maybe I could just like give these as gifts for Christmas yeah like people loved it uh, people were asking me like oh I even remember the first strap that I made was actually for a friend of a friend and I'm, I'm not even gonna lie I kind of like wanted to see you know like what they thought of of this strap um but she didn't even get to open it in front of me so i don't even know if she knew what the heck to do with it <laughs> um but yeah i don't know i was still a little kind of embarrassed about the idea so i just told you know i don't know i i i feel like that's kind of why i gave it to somebody that i wasn't really that close to at first but then my friend was like, dude, this is dope. Like, I want one. And then I felt bad because I was like, shoot, I should have just gave it to her, you know. But I ended up making her one too. And um, I, I started making all my other friends one for Christmas. And the idea just kept like, it just kept taunting me, you know. So... So then I just started doing my research. I started like trying to find um, the materials that I wanted to use for this thing. And um, I don't even know where I'm going with this, but basically long story short, uh, I definitely did not, I definitely did not anticipate this to happen. Why am I, why am I here? Why am I standing? All right, let me just let me just sit down and talk to you guys because I'm tired. And yeah, so like I decided, you know what? Let me just let me once I once I figured out the kind of hardware that I wanted cuz it it took like a lot, right? Like I had to figure out the right width for like these types of um clips and then same with these. And I'm still figuring it out, honestly. And I feel bad because sometimes, um, you know, like not every order is the same because I'll get like one product from one place and, you know, then it ends up being different. I'm still learning, like I said, as I go. What I'm really proud about the most is like these business cards. And I remember um, I was in, Vegas for uh, my boyfriend was working a show out there and 
the day after I had to go on a work trip. I need a pen. And while I was in Vegas on his work trip, I was like, okay, I could not like stop thinking of this idea. I was like, I need to, um, I, by this point, this was April, I believe. Was it April? Or was it March? Oh my God, I don't, I don't even remember anymore. Um, but basically, I, I had made enough straps. I had bought enough material to make enough straps for my coworkers. And I was like, well, I don't want to just give it to them like this. Like, this is a good opportunity for me to like try to package it up the way that I would want to. And so like I got these bags, these holographic bags, because I love holographic. I've always loved holographic. And um, then I was like, well, I want to make like a business card so that they can remember, you know, to uh, that th they would know where to go if they do end up liking it. They all loved it. And I, yeah, I created this while I was in Vegas and got it printed at a FedEx. And I'm just so proud of this. Like it basically has my logo in the front and then just, you know, some cute little designs and stuff. And then it has a little thank you in the back and then my story. So this basically says, this journey all started from me trying to find clever ways to keep important things like my cell phone, eyeglasses, and keys on my body since I frequently misplaced them whenever I set them down. I'd have chains, straps, and hooks attached to me and my mom would joke around that I looked like a Christmas tree, which is true. With that said, I thought the name Ornamental Goods was perfect, but there are but these are more than just an ornament. I made these pieces for peace of mind in addition to being decorative, which is what this is. And this is an ode to my ADHD that inspired these solutions that I'm so happy to share with you all. Welcome to the OG fam. Keep in touch. So, I don't know. I'm just, I really, I like, I can't believe that just what? That was like two months ago this was all just an idea and now like I'm balls to the wall doing this you know and I remember when my first video on TikTok blew up and I got my first like 10 order day I cried I cried in the car because I was so overwhelmed and so worried that like how am I going to how am I going to catch up like how how am I realistically going to be able to keep up with this with a full-time job? I'm also a musician, so it's like, I, I just thought that this was gonna be a little side thing, but it's become, it's become a real thing, you know? And I'm not complaining, I'm, I'm super grateful and happy about it, but wow, it's just, it's insane how quickly things escalated, so. Once I um, put myself on TikTok, I got an invitation to do TikTok shop. And um, that just changed everything for me. So now here we are packing orders on this very messy table. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. It is almost the end of May. I posted my first TikTok on May 1st because I wanted to um, <clears throat> I wanted to launch in time for Mental Health Awareness Month. Since this is my ode to ADHD, this is the whole reason why, you know, I started and um, yeah, so so that's kind of that's kind of what really pushed me to to finally do this is uh, is mental health awareness month and and uh, oh my god why is everything everywhere I can't wait till I get an office one day and I'm sorry if I sound a little like low energy here I am just so exhausted i have been non-stop ever since i started and whoo it's 
a lot. Oh my God. And of course my bags are all the way over there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, because I would love to have a space where everything is like intentional and where it's supposed to be. I just designed this today. This is gonna be the newest strap that comes out um, because I, I have bought out the supplier. Like literally, uh, there's like none left. And so um, I was a little worried at first, but I'm like, you know what, it's okay. It's a good challenge for me. Like I don't, I didn't do this with the intention of like blowing, blowing up, honestly. Like this was meant to be slow fashion, um, small batch, handmade. It's gonna be a nice little challenge to, to keep trying to design new things. And I do wanna add to the lineup eventually because um, I want to focus on thoughtful products. So um, in addition to these, I want to do like more um, passive things because again, working a full-time job, it's gonna be incredibly hard for me to um, pack everything and run run the business because there's a lot that goes into it that I really did not like anticipate until you're in it you know you just you don't even consider like how do you how do you um, keep track of inventory you know what I mean like how do you how do you know when to reorder like that right there was probably the biggest um, challenge for me was trying to figure that part out and I still don't honestly know like when I replenish my stock I'm just guessing I'm basically just like <laughs> putting in how much am I willing to make uh, today you know so I've had to come I, I've gotten to the point where I have to actually just like limit the amount of products that I put out to 10 because that's about all the time that I have to make these in addition to uh, you know working a full-time job and stuff but I think that that's good too so that I can kind of get into a flow and then maybe eventually I'll be able to like you know expand a little bit but yeah I had no real intention behind this video other than just saying hello um, if you guys are are here just randomly thank you for watching and it's so nice to meet you if you're here from TikTok I really appreciate y'all for blowing this whole thing up oh my god I have been blabbing for 20 minutes so I'm gonna end it here but I hope that you guys continue to join me on this journey and thank you so much this one was for Juanita and yeah I just can't wait to see where this goes. I'll see you in the next one.